Coach, are there any scenarios where you'd make a change at quarterback if, if you thought it would give the team a better chance to win? Right now, no. It's never even crossed my mind. I mean, it's, it's not even this close. I mean, he's our quarterback. He's He's been awesome. He's awesome with the team. He works harder than, I mean, it, it's unbelievable what he does and how much he's helped all our young. We think about how many young guys we've had to come in there and play for us this year. I mean, we've got all kinds of rookies, undrafted rookies, all these guys. And a lot of the reason why they're doing what they're doing and able to get out there and execute is because Russell's taking that extra time to work with them. So, I mean, he's doing everything he can to help this football team. And he's our starting quarterback, and that's it. So it started on Wednesday, and the news got obscured by the question of whether half the team did, half the team didn't, how many were, how many weren't present for Sierra's birthday party for her husband, Russell Wilson, who turned 34. It was a surprise party, and my guess is they didn't serve pigs in a blanket at the event, likely the event of the year that you wouldn't want to miss if it's free food, free drink, and free entertainment. But lost in all that back and forth, and there was the report or whatever it was from NFL media that Russell Wilson has lost some of the locker room. Nathaniel Hackett was asked, point blank, would you consider making a quarterback change if it meant your team would be more likely to win games? And he said, right now, no. That was it. Broncos sent out the transcript. With that in it, they do a great job of sending out transcripts with the question and the answer. Turns out, immediately afterward, he realized what he'd done. He got in touch with Mike Kliss of Nine News in Denver, and he he got out the mop bucket, as I said earlier. Now, that was Wednesday. Kliss tweeted it. It wasn't in the transcript that they sent out later. This is the Kliss tweet. Followed up with Hackett after his podium. The truth is, Hackett followed up with him. Hackett initially said right now no on that question. Hackett strongly clarified he's not changing quarterbacks, not even a thought, not even a question. Russ is our quarterback. You heard the sound from yesterday on Sirius XM NFL Radio as Hackett tries to undo the damage. And, Peter, there's two explanations here. Hackett either accidentally said something he doesn't believe or he accidentally told the truth. Either way, it's an example of one of the skill sets a head coach must have. You must message properly. You must always say the right thing at the right time. And right now, no was not the thing to say. And then when you realize you screwed up, the challenge becomes, what do you do? Do you let it float or do you go back and try to clean it up? And I think in this case, he may have compounded the mistake. He may have made it more conspicuous by trying to clean it up. Just let it go. Is anybody going to dispute the possibility that at some point, if this continues, you have to see what someone else can do at quarterback? This isn't Tom Brady in his prime that's being undermined by Bill Belichick. This is Nathaniel Hackett stating the obvious. Russell Wilson just isn't getting it done right now. So the, the whole thing was a great exercise in one of the skills that separates a good coordinator from a good head coach. Coordinators never in that spot. Coach is in that spot all the time, and coach has to get it right every time, Peter. When I heard that, I just said, right now, no. Let me just think for a minute. It's not like Nick Foles is his backup quarterback. You know, it's not like Jacoby Brissett is his backup quarterback. The backup quarterback is Brett Rippon. Okay, now... I, I'm, I don't say this to disparage Brett Rippon, but if he's not the number 32 backup quarterback in football, he's maybe 30 or 31, okay? So, but and that's just simply stating a fact. Brett Rippon is not a good backup quarterback in the NFL. You wouldn't think of replacing him, uh, replacing Russell Wilson. Now, Second part of this is, you know, the reason why you can't introduce this as even a factor in the thing is that there is a pile of dung falling down on Russell Wilson's head right now. And it has been falling for the last month nonstop. Justifiably, justifiably, but... What you are trying to do as the head coach of this team, what you're trying to do is you're trying to do everything humanly possible to make sure that that dung storm does not fall 
with any any kind of help from the team, okay? And when he said right now, no, immediately my first thought was he just helped. You know, he just basically said, well, right now, no, but who knows? Next week, the week after. So yes, that's Nathaniel Hackett's fault. And Mike, you know, earlier in the show, when we were talking about how this Justin Reed, Hayden Hurst thing was total nonsense, at least to me, okay? I mean, this is meaningful to me. It's meaningful. And because the head coach, and again, maybe he made a mistake, or maybe he was saying, I can't stand seeing this either. And I don't care if we got to play the backup center at quarterback. I can't keep putting Russell Wilson out there. So you don't know what he meant but that was not a good moment for Nathaniel Hackett. I, I tell you what, I, what I need you to do when we're done today, I, I'd like for you very much to clear your calendar for the rest of the day, clear your schedule. We're going to get on the phone because I think we now have to sit down and put together, not necessarily a script. We can do the movie treatment like the one that Kramer did when he moved to LA for a little while. And we can rough out a lot of the details, characters, storyline, that'll all take care of itself because we already have the title. And the title is Dung Storm. Dung Storm <laughs> is the title. We will make it work. You start with Dung Storm, baby. You got yourself a box office winner. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a break. Show me something, draft. Don't show me a Dung Storm. When PFD Live continues right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.